All right, I'm going to do a problem from Ray's Algebra. This is uh, copywritten 1848, and this book um, contains a story problem, or probably many story problems that you would never see in a current modern um, algebra book. And this one comes in later in the book, and it says that we um, have a person with two casks of, um, of wine. So they have a certain quantity of wine in each one. So you'll never see a story problem about casks of wine in a current modern algebra book. Uh, so here's the story problem typed out so you can read it better. Uh, a person has two casks um, and there's a certain quantity of wine in each. In order to have the same quantity in each, um, he poured as much out of the first cask as the second has already contained. He poured as much out of the second into the first as it then contained and lastly he poured out as much from the first into the second as there was remaining in it after this he had 16 gallons of each cask how many gallons did each uh, contain at first so we're going to make our two casks of wine here so here's my first cask of wine um, and we'll say there's x amount in here and here's my second cask of wine like a barrel of wine and there's y in here all right so the first thing we do is we pour as much out of the first cask into the second as it already contained. So that means we're doubling the amount in here. So we're taking y out of this and doubling it. So this is now x minus y. And then now this is 2y because we took as much out of here to here to double it. So it doesn't say anything about doubling, but by the language you can tell. Then we pour as much out of the second into the first as then contained okay so that means we're going to do the same thing back this way so we're going to take this much out of this one so this is now going to be 2y um, minus x and then a minus um, a minus would be plus y so a double negative there and then that's going to double this so this is now 2x minus 2y okay and lastly then we do the same thing over again. And lastly, he poured as much um, from the first into the second as there was uh, as there was remaining in it. All right. So now we are going to um, take this out of here, which will double this. So we have two x minus two y, taking out a two y, taking out an x, which is negative, is really like plus x, and then subtracting y. Okay, so I'm going to draw my little line here. And then that doubles this. So this is now 4y minus 2x plus 2y. And there's going to be 16 gallons in each. Um, so this will be equal to 16 now, and this will be equal to 16. So now there's 16 gallons here and 16 gallons here in this cask. So simplifying the algebra, um, we have 2x and x makes 3x. And the y is minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 5y equals 16. And then over here, uh, we have negative 2x. So negative 2x and then 6y is equal to 16. So they're each equal to 16. All right, so now we're going to solve the system of equations. Uh, I'm going to do elimination. I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2, making that a 6x. And then 3 down here, making that a negative. So writing over here, I get 6x minus 10y, and doubling this would be 32. Here I have negative 6x uh, plus 18y, and 3 pounds of hamburger would be 48 ounces, so 3 times 16 is 48. That cancels out when we add the two equations together. I get 8y, and adding those together, 80 divide and y is 10, so it's 10 gallons in the original cask up here, so y is 10, and it's 10 gallons. All right, now back substituting, so I'm gonna put the 10 back into the equation, I'll put it in the first equation, so 3x, I call this the back substitution step, back substitution, bs, minus five times 10 is equal to 60, uh, 3x minus 50 is equal to 16, add, over um, add over the uh, 50, so 3x is equal to 66. Divide, x is equal to 22, so it's 22 gallons of the other one. So this would be 22, 22 gallons in this one. 
the first the first cask. So the original cask had 22 and 10, and then we did the shuffling back and forth. So we took 10 and poured it in there, made this 20, made that 12, then we shuffled it back and forth until we got 16 in each. So there's an ebb and flow of the wine between the two. So it's a system of equations problem, which is a common thing in Algebra 1, but what's not common is the fact that the story problem is about casks of wine from this very old uh, algebra book.